We are in my garage right now, and this is the deadbolt. Sometimes I really want to know whether I lock the door or not, and this is the solution using the same Zeus smart sensor. There you go, you, see, you can see that it's blue blinking to let you know that it's tilted. It has an accelerometer built in as well, so that way you know if it's being jolted or not. And that's very important to know whether my lock is being tampered with or not. I really don't need to install a smart lock because a smart lock will cost at least $200. All I need to know is whether I've locked the door or not. All I did was 3D print it, an adapter, and fit it on. So let's get started, shall we? First, you'll need to drill some hole onto the, uh, the latch. That way you can mount the sensor on it. Here you can see I've removed the, uh, the latch mechanism already and I put it into a vice grip so that I can drill two holes into here and here. Since it's metal, I'm going to need metal drill bits. Here's the result of drilling the hole. And now I'm going to use this tool to make the thread into the two holes. Next, I'll be using M3 screws to secure the 3D print adapter onto the, uh, the latch. Once all is said and done, this is what you'll see. Pretty good, right? I can always slide the sensor out if I ever have to replace the battery, which is very rare because this thing lasts forever, it seems. We've added the uh, sensor into Home Assistant in the previous video. Here you can see all of the entities that's being shown in Home Assistant. The only two things that we care about is whether it's unlocked or locked, whether it's tilted or not tilted. The only other entity that we care about is Home Security Cover Status. Right now, there's no vibration, there's no tampering with the lock itself, so that's why it's sitting at idle. But if there is, then it'll change to something else. Let me know what else you've been using this sensor for. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, and thanks for watching.